This story begs for a telling, and when she calls, she is not to be denied. Moon's just about ripe enough to dig our feet in moist earth, to bless our tools with starlight, to honor our ability to heal, to nourish our capacity to regenerate, to embody thrive, to meet rapture. Shan't we rise with the moon? She called. We fell in expectant gather. Now? Now we must scatter, for action beckons us into every single nook of herself. Shosho sent me to call you. Do I tell her you're coming or will you? She says the council has questions. They of old are losing their feet. The earth has been eating away at their flesh, raising her waters to drown their offspring. Huh. Anger? No. She has no anger to hold. This, this is self-preservation. Her veins grow stiff, as labored as the lines that tether mothers gone to mothers yet to be seen, winding their names around your tools and colonized wheels, barren monocropped hills and extinct seeds. This hearth we sit about, its saw little eyes spark to life at grandma's weaving, tales of millet, trade and markets, seeds as magical as the food they became, nourishing us. Tales of mycelium like networks wreathing families, communities of growers and tenders, naturers and cultivators, pollinators and traders, holding them at the center of their own sovereignty. Shosho sends me to come find you. Do I speak to her of your journey or will you? The council's questions are raging. We have forgotten the cadences of our mother's songs. How are they to keep our science as a throb? We speak in tongues that defile the earth that feeds us, from which the legacies of our ways rise and upon which our people define their existence. How fleeting memory is when the young forget to sit with the old. When such channels sever and we rush to cauterize, when we no longer sit about our wealth and together determine its growth, when we place at the center of our stories dispositions and laws that know little of who we are and from whence we come, when we bless our mother's names, but not past the lawmaker's gateways, no, not beyond their hallways, no, and not into chambers built on the might and care of those whose breast nourishes us. Shosho grows wary, but asks that I ask your feet to her once more. Did you hear me? Do I inform her that you forgot your way home? Or will you sing her songs back? Our places of nourish now lay desolate, poisoned in our hurried yield to entities and gods who care little for our thrive, our evolution and greatness. In our inability to self-organize, we are conquered. Yet... Shosho asks me to remind you your name, remind you of those that wore it before it belonged to you, of their technologies and understanding, of their awareness of life's intricacies and delicate balances, of the waters that quenched their parch, of their trade routes and currencies, of their mother's tunes. What am I to say of you to her?